I definitely just sneezed. And that's why I now cannot open my eyes. Uh, hello, gorgeous people. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Um, yeah, I'll just put my tunnels, plugs in, whatever you want to call them. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but I haven't done a video exclusively playing with this palette yet that I can remember, and I'm just so in love with it. It is the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. And she's just, just so gorgeous. So this is like a one palette look. But I'm going to be adding some glitter. So I'm gonna do my eyes first. I got this little like tube of craft tape from Michaels. And I thought that it would be super cute as like eye tape. Also ignore my finger, I cut it. Oh my goodness, tape is besting me. Yeah, so I'm gonna do my eyes first. And I just figured that the craft tape would be good because it's not quite as like sticky or harsh as like scotch tape. Plus, it's adorable. The only issue I'm kind of running into with this is like because it's not sticky or not as sticky, once you like pull it off to readjust, you're kind of hooped. <laughs> um, what am I doing? First, oh, put that way too close to my bottom lid. <laughs> cool. First, I'm just going to put some concealer over my lids. Just to kind of even everything out. I've said it before, I'll say it again. When doing my lids or doing my eyes first, I completely forget what order makeup goes in. <laughs> Whatever. I'm also going to take some of that same concealer because this is what I'm going to be using on my face later. I definitely put too much tape. I know I can't open this eye. I'm going to re figure that out. You know what? No, it's really good. I just, I'm dumb. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do the inner corner of my eye now because once my eye makeup is done, I'm not really gonna want to disturb that. Let's try this again. Much, much better. I've gotten quite a decent collection of my Lit Cosmetics glitters. So I'm thinking, after I film this, I want to film a, like sort of a haul, or like a shot my stash with my Lit glitters. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So. There. Oh gosh. To set my concealer, I'm going to go in with um, Casket Ready. That one, it's just like a matte bone shade. Just on a nice, big, fluffy brush. It's winter where I am, like I live in the Northern Hemisphere. So, well, I guess technically it's not winter yet. It's still fall, Ugh. but um, it's basically winter. And it's been like raining and we had snow like a week ago. We had snow like a week ago, 
which was unpleasant. I don't like, I don't mind the cold, I actually prefer the cold to being overly hot, but I think my idea is I'm just going to do like a pretty smoky, cool toned look, but um, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. Okay, also ignore this chair. Um, it's terrible. <laughs> it's just an awful chair. Next, I'm gonna go in with R.I.P., which is, where am I? Right here somewhere. Right there. <laughs> it's just like a dark gray. I guess there's like a little bit of purple in there, maybe? Yeah, not too much. And that's just going to go outer corner and crease. We visited my mother-in-law. Um, what was it? End of last month? End of November? Um, and that'll probably be it because it's like a four hour drive from where we are to her place. And if you know BC, then we would have to take either, there's two main highways. Well, there's three, but like there's really two that people take. We would either have to take the Coquihalla, number one, uh, which is garbage this time of year, or we would have to take what's called the Crow's Nest or Highway 3. Both terrible this time of year. Um, the Coquihalla gets a ton of snow and it's a really high speed limit. And then Highway 3 is single lane most of the way. So if you're stuck behind like a, a semi truck, then you're hooped. Um, and it's very, very twisty. So there's often a lot of accidents, which sucks. Yeah. Next, on like a super teensy tiny brush, I'm going to take Hearse, which is the black. And just put this just in the outer corner. Something like that. taking that same blender brush and I'm actually blending outwards like onto the tape. I still can't like close my eyes properly because I'm an idiot. I don't know how to use tape. Kind of create like a wing. Well, exactly create a wing. Um, but I will be going in with, okay, this is giving out a hand. I will go in with like actual liquid liner. I'm just gonna take like a slightly fluffier, but still quite small tapered brush and just blend it directly over that black. Now I need my towel <laughs> and I'm just wiping off that brush. Going back directly over that black. And taking that big blender brush again and I'm just wiping off all the product and I'm gonna go back in with our first shade. Casket ready. I'm just going to go like right on the outside of where that color is. Just to really, really, really diffuse it. There. Now the reveal.
gorgeous. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. I need to do this way more often. And see, I got some right there, so I'm just gonna clean it up. I have a face halo somewhere. But I'm not entirely sure where. Okay. I do want to keep that quite sharp, so on the inner corner. I don't I'm not gonna recommend doing this because I don't know exactly if they're eye safe. But I'm going to take Magic Dragon. Let's see if it'll focus ever. There you go. Magic Dragon by Lit. Oh, I wonder if I can show you like this without spilling it everywhere. There you go, yeah, they're like different colored glitters. And once I find, oh, here we go. I'm taking a super tiny itty bitty brush, the Lit Glue. A couple purrs, I'm just dipping this directly into the adhesive. And this is gonna go inner corner. Be very, very, very careful. Again, I'm not recommending doing this. I am taking responsibility myself, knowing that uh, these aren't necessarily eye safe. They're not marketed as eye safe. No glitter is technically eye safe. But I am taking that risk on myself. Basically, do as I say, not as I do. I think I'm good with that. It's really, really, really easy to go like overboard. Yeah. <laughs> um, what am I gonna do now? I think I'm gonna do my lower lash line. Yes. There, so for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take that same like fluffy-ish brush and I'm gonna take Inheritance, which is that like grayish, well, I guess it's more brown than grayish, but it's dark. And just slowly build up that lower lash line and connect it with that wing. Sweet. Now I'm gonna zoom you out. That's it. And I'm gonna do my face because I don't wanna get um, like powder or anything on my lashes when I put them on. So for primer, I'm going to be taking this Ace Beauty Hydrating Face Primer. I take about that much, which is probably way too much, but. I don't care that much. Much. Take a shot every time I say much. I also like was sh uh, like shaving or German planing my face and I cut it. So that's fun. I love how those look. I also love how the darker color just like pinches your nose. Fun. That dries down so quickly. For foundation. I'm taking my Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is in 00 Ivory. But I'm also gonna take a like quarter pump or half pump of the 03 light beige just to get like a better undertone, better shade. So that's what I've got. So you can see the like darker color right there. Back of a brush and just mix them together. I don't think that was enough. But 
I suppose we'll find out. Okay, I've got my sponge. I've also got slightly lighter concealer. Um, just to like all lighten kind of everything. Uh, yeah, I think I mixed too much of the dark into my little foundation concoction. So. Now, I'm taking an oldie but a goodie, Tardist Pro Glow, and I'm going to take the cream bronzer contour in shade, <laughs> in the shade shade, and I'm just going to take a really small brush. This is an EXO Beauty round eye brush. And I'm just going to place it like in the actual hollows of my cheeks. I'm not going all the way up. Foundation, foundation brush and I'm just patting on top of it. The nose contour is a little bit harder with this one, or uh, brush, unless you have like a really thin one, but I like going over with my foundation brush because it just blends it so much nicer than I ever could. I'm just cleaning up with a little bit of concealer. Yeah. Pull that down my neck a little bit because I definitely put in way too much of the darker shade of the Milani. <sighs> Clearly it's winter because <laughs> I am Pale, pale. Um, eyeliner. This is the Cab K A B felt tip liner. Um, you're not gonna be able to read that, but like super matte. Turns out my camera shuts off randomly. That's fun. Um, so I just put on the, what are these? Ardell Wispies. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I put a little bit of liner on just to um, like mask the lash band a little bit better. Um, I'm going in with my Essence Lash Princess for bottom lashes. how the eyes are looking. So it's being a little bit wonky. Little tiny bit wonky. 
on the waterline and tight line, I'm going in with my Kylie black liner. Sweet. For my brows, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Goof Perk. This is in the shade 3.5. Just extending that tail ever so slightly. Then I'm going to take my black liquid liner. I don't think I breathed the entire time I was doing those because it's such a like fine, precise tip. I really like how those turned out actually. Big fan. For highlighter, I'm gonna take my Pro Glow palette again. I think I'm gonna take Stunner, which is that one. Sorry, I'm not meaning to flip you off, but you don't want to see my band-aid finger. So it's like... Like a champagne kind of gold. It's beautiful. I mean, like, come on. Why don't they make highlighters like this anymore? You know how like people sort of get stuck in an era? Like that's their era. Like my family, I feel like it's the 60s and 70s. Um, for me it was de or it is definitely like early 2000s. I feel like I'm also stuck in the era of blinding bloody highlighters. And I'm not sorry about it. Just taking a little tiny bit of that. Right at the top of the brow bone. Which I haven't done or seen done in quite a while. God, highlighter is just, it's so easy for me to go like way too overboard with it way too quickly. Where is my towel? For lips, I'm taking my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in another round. And it's just like, it's a darker nude, but it's almost like a pinky. Like a pinky beige. Then for my lipstick, MAC Honey Love. Hmm. darker than I wanted. So, because I said I'm stuck in the early 2000s, concealer lips. I can't believe that is making a comeback. But also, like, I'm not mad about it. Because that's what I love. 
Um, hopefully my camera doesn't overheat. I'm actually going to pause it. Gonna get my hair stuff ready and then I'm gonna straighten my hair on camera and then we'll be done. So that is what we came up with for the cremated palette with a little bit of Magic Dragon in the inner corner. You can really see that like color shift in that glitter. I haven't had any sort of um, reaction to it. There's been no um, like itching, burning, anything like that still use your own discretion when you're putting it that close to your eyes. Um, we'll see how it is when I wash it out. I'm sure it's fine. The main issue is going to be like glitters like this or glitters period can have um, like sharper edges. Just like, yeah, can have little sharp edges. So if you happen to get those in your eye, you do run the risk of scratching your eyes. So again, be very, very careful with them around your eye. Good. Got it. Good. I don't know why my camera keeps overheating. Um, I'm going to have to look into that because it's super annoying. But yeah, this is what we came up with. I am in love with the eyes. Um, that eye shape worked out so much better than I thought it was going to. Let me know your favorite way to use glitter or if you are like my husband and avoid it at all costs. <laughs> I used to be like that but now I'm in love with it. Um, definitely check out Lit Cosmetics. They are phenomenal. The girls and guys and gays and nays and everybody that works there are so sweet, so helpful. Um, definitely check them out. It's an amazing, amazing brand. Yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you're not already, please subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm trying to get away from my nine to five job, so if I can do this full time, that'd be really rad. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.